Hi everyone at Wilson, this is Miss Hill, and I'm back to read you Pig the Stinker. Henry's back too, because it's fun. One thing that I think is really important to remember during these times is your teachers aren't expecting perfection. We're just asking that you try your best. And with that, here is Pig the Stinker. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, his personal hygiene was far from okay. Pig liked to get dirty. He frankly was rank. His paws could be frightful. His fur often stank. He wasn't offended by odor or smell, and if you weren't careful, he'd smell you as well. He'd play with all kinds of unspeakable muck and do things to make you scream. Don't do that, yuck. He leaked out a stench that could not be forgotten. He reeked, he was rancid. In short, he was rotten. So bath time was called, you stinky old mutt. You need a good clean from your ears to your butt. But Pig turned his tail, and before you could grab it, he was out of the room like a foul little rabbit. They chased him, but Pig had a devious knack for ducking and weaving and doubling back. And once he had lost them, he used a small toy to pick up, to block up the pipes, then he hooted with joy. But the time they had found him, Pig Boogie with glee, you won't get me, you soapy old water on me. They watched as Pig gloated, they watched as Pig crowed. They watched as Pig's plan made the bathroom explode. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. If you tell Pig it's bath time, he won't disobey. But although you can wash him with soap cloth and towel, there's no getting round it. Pig is just foul. So these are my favorite books. So the next video that I make, I'll probably read Pig the Star. Thank you so much for watching.